Hello out there Mamaki Nation. This is Doug Griggs with PDS Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about a function in Raster Link 6 and it is called Special Plate. As with any functions over here on the right side, if you hover on it, it will tell you what it is. Special Plate is a way to add your special colors to a file. Clear, primer, or white. Okay. For this file, we'll add white. And if you have two channels of white, you can do your percentages. If you're doing 80% white, always split it between the two channels. If you're doing 100%, do it 50-50. Coming on down, you have whole image and valid pixel. Whole image is going to put a, a square or a rectangle around the file. So whatever size your artboard was or your page setup size was in Illustrator or Corel, whatever you're using, it's going to make that entire area white. Using valid pixel, it's going to only put white or a special color where there's a pixel on the screen or a drop of ink in the print file. Coming on down, you've got this that says composite automatically. If you select composite automatically, it's automatically going to add the layer and link it together so that it's one print file. And it's asking here, do you want the special color to be on top or be on bottom? If you put it on top, that's typically when you're printing on something that's clear like acrylic or glass or something like that to where you're going to flip it over and you want to see it through the glass or through the acrylic. If you're printing on the first surface, you're going to put it on bottom. And I'm going to say create. You see now that these two are linked together. Okay. But what if I wanted to do more than one special color? What if I wanted primer and clear along with that? That's where this comes in, composition. So when I select composition, I'm going to release these two. And we're going to come back to this. Okay, let's go back to special plate. And now let's make a clear layer and make it 100%. Okay, whatever, whatever amount of clear you want. I'm going to select valid pixel again. Now this isn't a spot clear. This is going to clear everything. It's not like it's not like doing one particular color. It's going to it's going to clear the entire file. Okay, we're going to select valid pixel again. We only want clear where there's where there's ink at. And instead of this time saying composite automatically, we're going to say create. All right. So now you see we have three layers. We have color, we have clear, and we have white. Okay, so now we want this all to be one print file so we don't have to print them individually. So what we do is we'll come back here to composition, select it, click on one, control shift, click on the bottom file. All three are now on the right side over here. Now anytime in raster link, whatever is on bottom is going to print first. So if you want white on bottom, it needs to be here. And obviously you're always going to want glossy clear on top. So all you have to do is drag and drop to put it in its position. So now we have white, we have color, and we have clear. So we want them all to be one print job. So it'll do it in one function. So we only have to rip and print it one time. Select composite. It's telling us here that the UV mode is different for clear because the UV lamp has to act differently for clear to make it glossy. And there you go. White, color, and clear. Again, this is Doug Griggs with PDS Equipment. I hope this was helpful and don't hesitate to call us with any of your needs or questions. Thank you.